grassroots communities promoting digital inclusion while strengthening their autonomy. By sharing knowledge and thinking about how to build and strengthen their community networks together. These communities make the National Schools of Community Networks the first of their kind happen in different countries. But what are the schools of community networks? Why are they so important and what impact do they have? We are creating something really special within communities in Africa, Asia and Latin America. Come and see. The National Schools of Community Networks are a collective capacity building effort for the creation and development of community networks in five countries, South Africa, Kenya, Nigeria, Indonesia and Brazil. We think of community networks as connectivity and communication strategies shaped by the community itself in a manner that reflects their different interests and needs. Through them, the communities cultivate bottom-up, sustainable approaches to communications technology and meaningful connectivity that can strengthen personal and collective self-determination. The schools are a work made by many hands. Each school was made possible by the collaboration of different stakeholders. They were promoted and driven by a support organization in each country, Zanzeleni Networks NPC in South Africa, Tendernet in Kenya, CTED in Nigeria, Common Room in Indonesia, and Proyecto Saudi E Alegria in Brazil. These support organizations designed the schools with autonomy and are grounded in the local realities. Its school gathered at least 21 participants from seven local communities in each country that they were interested in strengthening or growing a community network in their home region. How did we do this? In 2021, each school designed its training program with a participatory approach. Following the participatory Action Research PAR methodology guidelines, they defined the activities and process according to the local needs and interests. From 2021 to 2023, the activities were carried out, including face-to-face -face and online training, as well as mentoring on different topics related to community networks like services and infrastructure, sustainability, policy and regulation, and communications. After the training, in many countries, the participants returned to their communities and received support and mentoring to develop local actions in which they could apply the new knowledge in a way that made sense in the local reality. From knowledge to practice. We are happy to see how these community networks are strengthening businesses and local projects, helping young people and women to develop skills to manage and operate their own projects. Every school has designed and implemented its own program in its own way, and the success has been so remarkable that we are considering replicating the model and expanding our work on this kind of training. And what's next? The plans for the future also require strong support from institutional partners, funders, policymakers, and regulators. Together, different stakeholders can support the communities making change happen.